Hi everyone, this is Heidrun from Navis from Intergeo 2023 and I have the pleasure to speak with Masoud today who works for a thousand hands. Hello Masoud. Hello. Tell us a bit more about you and your company. Yeah, okay. My name is Masoud. I'm working in Thousand Hands since five years ago. I'm R&D manager in Thousand Hands. And then we are uh, the company, we are scanning and also uh, serving with the uh, laser scanner and totalization. But since the company founded uh, 25 years ago. But since six years ago, we tried to digitalization and scanning and also more documentation. Perfect. You are based in Germany, correct? Yes, we are based in Germany. We are located in Berlin, Kuda. Great location. Congrats <laughs> to that. <laughs> so I know that you have two VLX2s already, right? Yes. And you also have terrestrial scanners. Yes. Can you tell us a bit more of what kind of projects you're doing? Yes, we have uh, several types of the project. Uh, well, the, for sure, we have a, a big project like uh, Halle or also the schools is a big, huge, uh, huge space we can measure. And also we, the mostly project we have uh, like uh, uh, apartment measurement and also with the uh, floor plan and also with the heights and, and so on. So your customers are building owners and also governments, yep. and they are looking to digitize their buildings. Sure. And so you're scanning indoors, but also the facades. Yes, we are scanning the inso uh, inside and also the outside. With, uh, the, for a huge area we are using with the Faulix and Navis, because it's the very fast, uh, fully color scans data we have. For outside, we are measuring the TLS, because the distance for measurement is longer and, uh, and so on. And so you're also using drones to actually capture the roof, right? For sure, we are using the drone. You, you know, we are using three techniques and three source, and then we are uh, match all together in the iView because, uh, because we assigned one coordinate system and we could uh, merge several, um, uh, several sources together in one project. So you're actually com combining VLX data, terrestrial scan data, and drone data in Ivion. Yes. Is that a difficult uh, process or is that easy? No, 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 no. If you if you just look at the, the data and then if you know the the precede is too easy, you know, it's 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 not difficult. And also, as you know, the, the if you have enough knowledge. Uh, from the different sources, you can combine and then the Ivion is great software. You can merge all different sources to one project and at the end you don't have any gap. That's great to hear. Yeah. So uh, your customers, why do they actually want a digital twin of their buildings and what do they do with it afterwards? Yes, uh, our customers, uh, for sure, they need a digital, always a digital data because they can always access to the data and then visualization, modeling, and more documentation about the data as well. You know, if you, because if, with the navies and, and other uh, sources, we are capturing the data yeah, with the photos as well. And then we can see is really perfect inside the building, how it looks like. And then if the next year or after construction, again, we go there, and then we can uh, see the change detection as well. So they do it to have an as-built documentation to know what it actually looks like, to have the floor plan, and then also to plan refurbishments, changes that are being planned for the building, correct? Exactly, exactly. You know, one product, we are always uh, produce the beam modeling and also with the information we are capturing the site because, you know, with the, uh, the VLX, we have the, uh, the Paranama photo and 360, and then very well documented we can add more attributes on the data. And so before you had Navas VLX, you did it all with your terrestrial scans, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. So what is the time that you're saving now? Uh, you know, <laughs> you know very well, you know, the terrestrial laser scanner, you know, it's uh, the great, but it's uh, the, the, the big challenge, the big data on handling the, the data, you know, there's a point density a lot, you know, you don't need it always, you have dealing with the subsampling, how we could subsample, when you are subsampling, you, for sure, you will lose some information, you know, but the, with the LADAR and FOLIX or something like that, is less uh, data, uh, uh, less um, uh, de uh, point density, uh, I can say, and also the post-processing always in the cloud. You know, this is a good advantage when you're using the phonics. 
But so it does match your requirements, let's For say, sure. what the Navis V Likes is yeah, offering yeah. you. Sure. That's great to hear. And so does the customer also save some money there because you're faster? For sure, if you are just, you know, the from when you are back to office, you know, just upload the data, or even if you have good internet connection on the site, you can upload the data. And when you are way back to uh, office, already the data is ready. And then the, save your time, save your money, save also the capacity. You know, the 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 uh, TLS, this huge data, always the sort, and also the you need for sure very very good computer to handle big data. But uh, the LiDAR data and SLAMS data are always uh, less point density and lighter. Perfect. Yeah. To look a bit at the, uh, at the software side, actually, now this Ivion Core, you also give access to your customers to the data that you scan. So how do they actually use it? And who is the one who would log in and look at the data and work with it in Ivion? Yes, uh, as you know, the, the there is a several steps in the uh, in Ivian. You know, there's a, as a, uh, the admin, and also uh, you can give access to your client as a viewer or or editor or uh, for sure not the admin because we don't want to share the source data with the with this one. But they can access everywhere entire the world to log in with the special uh, username and password, and they can see and make a section. Or uh, if they have an editor, they can download the data as a format they want. And who would that be usually? The, 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 for sure, the, 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 uh, the client uh, also they needed the, the government or also the editor uh, did it because uh, they want to import this data to another software, the CADs or maybe Oshikad or something like that, even the GIS as well. Great. Yeah. Thanks for those insights. You're welcome. So, what is next? What is the next big step that you're looking for? Maybe also from our side, from Navi's side, or something that you're waiting for in the industry? Uh, for sure, we are looking for the Navis to uh, remove the noise at uh, the outside. You know, the, for sure, the, when the reflection, you know, because always when you download the data and then you have to clean the data with the third party. Uh, but if the Navis provide with the, I don't know, artificial intelligence or something like that, the clean the outside. Inside, no problem for the outside reflection. If they remove the noise, for sure it's nice. I have good news there for you. Oh, great. Because as you know, we're always looking for customer feedback, and I know that we're working on that feature. Great. Don't have a timeline, but we know that yeah. it's, uh, it's on, the, on our roadmap for sure. Very, very good. I hope it's getting the highest priority. <laughs> <laughs> that I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, good. Good news always is nice. Is a Navis uh, persons always they give us uh, good news always, and then support is great. And then I have to say thank you very much. Thanks a lot to you, Masood. Yeah. Thanks also for watching and for listening. And we'll see you next year at Intergeo. Thank you. Bye. -bye.